Hey guys, this is a quick video on how I swapped my BMW i3 battery without going to the dealer and um, without paying a ton of money. So this will be kind of a two-step process the way I think about it. Uh, the first step will be to actually physically remove the battery and swap it out with the new one. And the second step would be to register the battery in the BMW's ECU. Okay, so real quick. First, I just decided, I've already done this guys, and I actually wasn't planning to, um, I wasn't planning to take a video, so I probably should have taken the video while I was doing it, but I did this a few weeks ago, and there's been a few guys online who have asked for me to kind of show them how to do it. So I won't be able to go through step by step because I really don't want to go through and, uh, you know, redoing all of that again. But in any case, it's fairly easy. You got to take the front off. So that front comes off, all the other kind of Velcro fastened um, covers. You know, these are really easy to come off. And the front comes off with these four screws here, over here, and the two main ones that anchor the floor. So that's fairly easy. They're just Torx bits, kind of like that, okay? And then with a couple Well, 10 millimeter bolts you will need to remove this bracket right here so this bracket right there uh, you take this bolt off and that bolt up there can't quite see it but it's over there and then that actually removes this bracket and be really careful there is a, a drain drain hose right over here you see that so I actually broke mine because I didn't know it was back there and it just mounts to the top over here and all it is is all it, all that broke is a 90 degree kind of angle fitting so i just need to go to bmw and buy that it's hopefully just a couple bucks um but that's an air vent or maybe a liquid vent in case this thing you know oozes gas or whatever so the other main part to doing this is these two terminals negatives on the left positives on the driver's side and these look fairly big, but it's actually just a 10 millimeter bolt that's up top there. And you'll, you'll see it once you're able to kind of make some room and take this battery out. And you'll need to, you'll need a Torx bits to remove the actual terminal, which is this piece right here, which is where the top clamps mount onto. You need to move that terminal to the new battery, okay? Um, this battery I purchased from, I believe it was Remy Batteries. And what I ended up doing was I cross-referenced uh, the DECA because I knew this was made by the OEM BMW battery. The, I think it's AGM battery. It's made by DECA. And obviously, they're, I, I just had a hunch that they would be uh, selling the unit unbranded, kind of without any BMW names on it. So I was able to find it um, exactly the same. The cranking amps are the same. The actual capacity of the battery is the same. Um, I had heard online that you could get a bigger one. So this one's a 20 amp battery, uh, kilowatt or whatever. Um, slips on mine, but the other one's a 40. But it's my understanding that the 40, which you can also use, re requires a different um, uh, windshield washer tank. So I just kept it all the same. I figured the original battery lasted three plus years. So this one should last just, just as long um and so that's kind of the wrap up for step one now step two step two is a little bit more involved and it is because you have to register the battery into the ecu and what that means is at least my understanding having worked bmws for a while is that the ECU actually conditions and maintains the battery, so it needs to keep track of when you replaced it, it monitors how it's being used, it monitors the charge rate, etc., all that other stuff, which I'm sure is very sophisticated and um, typical kind of over-engineered BMW. So once that, um, once you actually hard install, do the actual hardware install, which is that, you need to now reset or what they call register the battery into the ECU. So if you go, 
um, you can do you can do this method actually a few different ways um, oh, there goes the chime you can go to your local kind of BMW uh, you know service center and the local BMW service centers that I asked for and I asked them hey how much would you you know register the new battery for they range between like 50 bucks to eighty dollars to just do that kind of quick registration and part of that too is because the software uh, required is actually pretty expensive some of those guys have thousands and thousands of dollars worth of um, BMW diagnostic software so that software is the one that actually resets it and tells the BMW ECU in the i3 that hey it's got a new battery so one of the caveats to using the um, aftermarket battery which is this it's an aftermarket made by Deco the same people obviously makes the original one is it doesn't have the serial numbers in place it doesn't have um, the the QR code it doesn't have a few things that tells the ECU that hey this is an OEM BMW battery however it still let me register it just fine so uh, with my help from my buddy Drew who came by and helped me do it uh, we were able to figure out and kind of toggle through the different menus and eventually um, put in this new battery so unfortunately we didn't do that step by step because honestly we were kind of fumbling through uh, the different menu settings in the I want to say it's a Fox Pro or whatever. I'll link to it, but it's a OBD2, one of the cheaper OBD2 um, readers that is sold on Amazon that has the option to register the battery. So that's just the thing. That's the caveat is I was able to register this battery, but it's missing like two thirds of the fields that the ECU wanted to read, which was a serial number, which was... Um, some other unique identifiers that's on a on a OEM BMW i3 battery and we didn't have that on the kind of un unbranded you know Deco battery so um, you know it, it seems to work fine we're running it for about three weeks uh, no issues uh, one of the reasons I did change this battery was because uh, this is a 2015 and it was starting to show like those weird signs that you read about on the boards uh, the only thing that happened was on this car the power steering got really really stiff and I started to get like Christmas lights on my on my uh, instrument cluster so that only happened once and for two weeks after that it didn't even happen while I was waiting for the battery to come in so if you start to see those weird kind of unexplainable errors then you know there's a chance that it might be because the 12 volt battery is low or dying or on its way out so uh, I just took the preemptive step and I decided to swap it out all right so um, oh real quick over here I don't know if you can see that but over here where my finger is this is where you will plug in the OBD2 connector and that will get you um, uh, th that'll allow you to basically hook up into the car. It's the same place you plug in the OBD2 dongles, uh, Bluetooth dongles that are used for, say, Beamer code or any kind of coding you want to do to the car. Um, it's the same spot. So that's the main uh, onboard diagnostic port, they call it. So, anyway, um, hope that helps and good luck with your battery swap. All right.